So Hannah over at UPI asked if I could do an unboxing and review of Creality's latest filament dryer solution. This is the new Creality SpacePi dual spool filament dryer. If we look at the Creality website, we can see that the Creality SpacePi filament dryer has an adjustable temperature from 45 to 70 degrees Celsius, offers real-time humidity monitoring, try saying that one 10 times fast, a drying time setting of 0 to 48 hours, and 360 degree positive temperature coefficient heating which means that there's fans built into the heating element to circulate the air around the inside of the chamber. We can see that there are some advantages to the PTC heating technology. Over here on the left, we can see the fan, we can see the heating element, and then we could see a representation of the air getting blown through the element, which provides faster heating and more efficient drying. There's a liquid crystal display touchscreen, which has all of the settings right here on the main menu, and a single key selection for 12 different types of filaments. It's compatible with multiple filament diameters, including 1.75 and 2.85 millimeter. So I'm pretty eager to get this thing open, set up, and see how it performs. So inside the box, we have the filament dryer unit, an instruction manual, two lengths of PTFE tubing, and basically just your standard run-of-the-mill laptop cord. There's no power brick for this, so it's built into the unit, which is nice because other dryers that I've used have power brick separate from the unit itself. Okay, so I've got it all set up. I've got it plugged into the wall. There is a switch on the back. Turn it on. You can see up in the front where the first Bowden tube goes in. There's two provisions, one here and one here. And there's also two on the lid, a little bit more towards the back. If you open the lid up, you can kind of see where it pokes through. As far as the controls are concerned, the power button is here. It's all done with a touch screen. So when you want to turn the unit on, you hold the power button on the touch screen. And then here we have our menu with the available options. Our PV is our present temperature. The SV is the set temperature. The material right now is set to PLA. And then the time is how much time we're going to actually run the cycle. The RH percentage is the relative humidity inside of the unit. And then going into the gear, if we press that, we can see that it selects the material for us. And then we can use the cursor key up and down to choose the different types of materials. Once you choose the material, press the gear again to go to the time. And then from there, you can set the amount of time that you want the cycle to run. Once the unit's turned on, you can hear that there are little fans inside. And if you open the lid, you might be able to hear it a little bit better. But there's two heating elements inside of the unit that have fans that will circulate the airflow through the inside of the dryer. And then much like every other dryer, as it runs, the humidity will drop, the temperature will go up, and then the inside of the cabinet or the inside of the unit will then dry the filament. One more thing to take note of is that if you want to change any of the options, if you press the gear icon again, not only will it toggle through material and time, but it'll also go to PV, where you can use the up and down arrows to change between Celsius and Fahrenheit, and also down to SV, where you can adjust the drying temperature. Looking at the inside a little bit, you can see these two vents right here. This is where the hot air comes through, and it blows in through this way. And then over here, there's two little trap doors, and if we take the trap doors off, you can see that inside of each one, you can put in a silica desiccant to help with the aiding of the drying. Now again, this is designed for two spools of filament. There are independent rollers on both sides. So if you wanted to run this, you would just insert PTFE tube, have a little bit sticking out here, take your spool of filament, load it in like so. Feed it through the tube and then run the tube into 
your machine. And that's basically it. There's not really much more to say about it. It is a filament dryer. It dries filament. It has a very intuitive user interface. It's got air circulation inside of the unit to speed in the drying process. And if you're in the market for a two-spool filament dryer, check out the Creality Space Pie dual-spool filament dryer.